Today's Olympic profile is brought to you by Minute Maid Premium Orange Juice. Squeeze the day. Welcome back to Sydney Olympic Park. Since it was first contested at the Olympics in 1900, the United States has totally dominated the men's 400-meter hurdles, including victories at the last four summer games. But last night, that streak was in danger of ending, and the race for the gold came right down to the wire. NBC's Tom Hammond had the call. As they come to the top of the home straightaway, and just inside them, Al Somali of Saudi Arabia, and Al Somali and Angelo Taylor are battling. Carter's coming off third. Here's the final hurdler. Angelo Taylor in lane one. Al Somali in the center of the track. To the line. Close. It was very close. Taylor and Al Somali of Saudi Arabia in the center of the track. He holds his hands out. He doesn't know who won either. Well, Taylor's in prayer because he's waiting for the announcement. There it is. The 21-year-old gold medal winner, Angelo Taylor of Atlanta, Georgia. Angelo, great to have you here. Congratulations. Thanks for having me. It's, have you, has it sunk in yet that you won this race by that? I mean, three one-hundredths of a second. No, I don't think it's sunk in yet. Um, probably when I get home, you know, all my friends and family, you know, congratulate me and probably sink in me. You watched the last 20 seconds of that race. You were behind going into the last hurdle. You made up a lot of distance in that last stretch. And the lean at the wire is obviously what got you. Do you did you have any idea that you'd actually won the gold when you crossed the finish line? No, I really didn't have an idea that I had won. Um, um, I knew that it was a guy to the side of me. I can hear see him out the side of my eye, and um, I just took it and ran into the, um, the wire and lean. When you prayed at the end there, we saw you go down on your knees and prayed. Were you were you praying that or thanking God that you could finish the race, or were you praying that you'd won the photo finish? Well, I was just praying that I had finished the race. You know, before I. Ran, I was just asking God to just allow me to finish the race because this is my first Olympic game. So I was just thanking God to, um, you know, finish the race and have a uh, nice clean race. You talk about your first Olympic games. Give me an idea of what was going through your mind. You're, you're sitting there on the track and you hear the announcer come out and mention your name as the gold medal. Uh, well, you know, it was um, a great moment for me. Just a moment of relief. Uh, all the stress and the pressure. Uh, um, you know, like you mentioned, um, the announcer did. We had a streak for all uh, U.S. champions in the 400 hurdles, and uh, it was just a sigh of relief. Can you explain why lane one is a problem in the hurdles? I mean, if you're in a horse race or you're in an auto race, lane one, the inside lane, is a good lane to be in. Why is it such a problem for a hurdler? Well, because um, the inside lane one is uh, a tight trail. Um, it's tight. The curve is real tight. And, um, and when you run on the outside, you have more um, leeway. You don't have to run the curve as tight. And you can see the other runners better from the outside than you can on the inside? Well, you, you can see everybody on the inside, but you can you run more relaxed on the outside because you don't have to run the, uh, the tight turns. It's better to run on the outside for the turns are not so tight, especially for a hurdler like me that's very tall. So um, it was a challenge for me. As a matter of fact, now you have won, you have run the fastest time in the Olympic Games ever on the inside lane. Yeah. It's quite an accomplishment. Yeah, um, big accomplishment. Um, but, you know, I knew I could do it. You know, I had a lot of supporters behind me, my coaches, my parents, my friends and family. They all, all supported me and told me I can do it. And I just went out there and told myself I had to run a nice, smooth race and attack the last few hours. Can you explain to me why the U.S. is so good at this event? As I mentioned the introduction, we won the last, the gold medal in the last four summer games here. Why are the Americans so good at this event? Well, uh, we just have great athletes in America, you know, and um, every every year, you know, someone new comes along and uh, they just run a great race, and we just, you know, have a great tradition in whatever we do. You can't just carry that gold medal around your neck and go home now. You've got some more work cut out for you. You're in the preliminaries of the 4x400 four relay. How confident are you about that race? Well, um, so relays are something I like doing. Um, I really like running the relays, and um you know, we've been a champion in the relay for us. I don't know how long. A long time. You got Michael Johnson yeah. running in the finals in that. So, you think the chances for gold are good for the U.S. in that? Yeah, the uh, chances are great for us because we we have like six of the top, you know, 400 meter runners in the world. So, um, the chance for us to win gold in the relay is very good. You're
21 years old, right? Yes. So how many Olympic Games do you have in your future? Uh, about two or three more. You think so? Yeah, I think so. You can so. go for the next 12 years or so? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, Angelo Thomas, congratulations. Close race, but you've got the gold around your neck. All right, thank you. All right. And we're going to be back with more in a moment from Sydney Olympic Park right after this. Yeah!